Hey guys, John here. In this video, we're gonna be installing the rear bumper step for a 2022 Toyota Tundra, courtesy of the Yoda Garage. So guys, I will have a link for this product down in the description, but if you're familiar with the new Tundra, the bumper is pretty integrated, so there's real no good side bumper to step up onto. That's where this comes in handy. It's a super simple install. Let me show you guys how. On the driver's side, right behind the exhaust pipe, this is where we're gonna install the brackets. So the simplest thing, because this gets in the way, go ahead and take off the little clip down here for this bracket and also the bolt up top, the 10 millimeter bolt. You don't have to fully take it out. Uh, you could just loosen it just to kind of move this bracket out of the way because we have to put the mount into the receiver right here. So I moved this enough to move it out of the way. Then you're gonna take the mount provided and there's a little bolt down at the bottom of it. You're gonna feed that into the side of your receiver hitch. And then with that on the side of the receiver hitch, you have a hole right here. There's another hole up top too that we'll put our bolts through. We're gonna go ahead and grab the purple bolts. All right, so you can see the bolt right here that we sent through the trailer hitch receiver. And then this is where one of our purple bolts is going through. And then up top right there, that is where our other purple bolt went through. And we are right here at the bottom. This little portion right here goes into the receiver itself. I still have this screwed up at the top and it's a little hard to see, but we have the other purple one up there. I was able to just put it in kind of blindly and then just feel it out. And then, and then you're gonna use a 14 millimeter socket. I believe the torque on this is around 30. There were no instructions, unfortunately, uh, but I would just elbow tighten it, make sure it's nice and snug, not overly tight. And before we install our step, if yours came without the little step plate on top, you are going to put you're gonna put the little you're gonna put the little washer things in here, and then these screws on top go the first, second, and fourth one. Just tighten those down, then the step should be good. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our last two bolts, and we're gonna line up those two holes at the top of the mount with these two holes right here, and then just put the bolts through the top. So with the bolts through the top, go ahead and take the bottom portion of the step. You can see the threads are here. You're just gonna line them up with the bolts on the mount and go ahead and tighten them up. Okay, so after you have it all tightened up, man, there's like little clearance. So it'll just come down like that and go back up. That is so close. So you do lose some departure angle with it back here. But now you're able to do that, put your foot up and get into the bed of the truck, no problem. Not falling off, so should be good. So flash forward, it's been a couple weeks and I've actually been using it. And the thing that I actually don't care for with it is how close this is to the bumper. So I've seen some OEM ones, so I'm not sure if this one is completely OEM or there's different part numbers for it, but I feel like you have to put your foot pretty dang close to your paint of your bumper to actually get it out. But the step has worked really well to get in and out of the truck. Again, because that is tied into the truck, when your tailgate's up, it's not that big of a deal, but if your tailgate is down, it just raises how high you have to step up. Now you have to step up into the tailgate, whereas if you have this step, you can just easily step right here and then into the bed of the truck. One thing that I have noticed, and I noticed this too at the Toyota event with the Tundra launch, is that there's no good cutout here. So I mean, I guess if you have your cleat right here, you can grab that, but there's no good cutout on the bed rails for your truck if you have your foot on the step to get up in your truck. So I had a Chevy Silverado before this, well, a couple vehicles ago, and they had the indention in the bumper, which was super trick. And then up here too, they actually had a little opening for your hand to nicely go into it, contoured to your hand to get on up into the truck. But after using it for a couple weeks now, this step, I'd recommend it. I mean, you, you have to, right? You have to have a step to get into the bed of the truck. So definitely recommend it. Link is down in the description, guys. I will catch you in the next video. See you later.